uh, Comic Fanatics. I uh, want to welcome you to the to my man cave. Uh, today's video is going to be on my uh, CGC graded uh, comics. Um, I still have two that I'm waiting on. Uh, one's uh, on its way, and then the other one is at uh, CBCS, uh, waiting to get graded. But I uh, decided to go ahead and do a video on my graded ones, so that way you can see uh, which ones I have. Uh, that way you can comment, you know, if you like or whatever. But uh, first I'd like to say uh, what's up to uh, my homeboy Marty on Comic Fanatics as well. Chris from We Love Comics. Uh, my people's down there in Lawton, Oklahoma. Uh, Greg and Karen from uh, Carolina Comics. And uh, I'd like to say what's up to uh, Just Comics as well. So right here I have uh, my comics, my graded ones. Uh, turned to the back so you can't see. Um, I saw this from uh, my man Chris on uh, We Love Comics. He had me anticipating want to uh, see what the grade of the comics was. But these are just comics that I've had graded, um, you know, since I've been getting them graded. And I want to say that was like since 2012 because I really never even had the notion to get my books graded. Uh, the first graded comic I saw was um, in 2006 or 2007 down in uh, Lawton, Oklahoma, where I was stationed at. Uh, Carolina Comics, they had a Fantastic Four number one, and I think it was either graded at a 1.0 or 1.5. Um, but they told me uh, some kid needed the money for college and sold it to them, so they had bought it for like 1500 or whatnot. So that was the first time I actually saw it, and then um, didn't think nothing about it. But when I was deployed in 2012 to Afghanistan, uh, I had my wife send in a uh, Daredevil number 20. Why you ask Dirt on 20? Well, uh, that book kind of holds a little sentimental value to me. Uh, my best friend from back home growing up, a comic book collector as well, he had purchased it for me, gave it to me because he knew I collected Daredevil because I've hooked him up uh, time and time again with some Spider-Man books here and there. So that was the first book I had graded and then the fact that my wife did it for me while I was deployed. She sent it in through a third party because I didn't have a membership at that time through a uh, uh, Gatekeeper Comics in uh, Topeka, Kansas. Uh, she sent it in October 2012. Didn't get that sucker back to like the third week I came back from uh, my deployment, which was uh, February 2013. But we're going to start with my signature series. Everybody knows signature series is like the the golden graded comics to where you know you take your comic, get it graded, but somebody has to verify it, and then um, then after that. You know, they send it in, they take it right there and there, send it in. So we're going to start with my first one, which is Avengers, number two. Signed by the man himself, Stan Lee. Uh, I bought this book um, in uh, 2012 while I was deployed. Because, you know, um, a lot of people don't know, but when you're deployed, you get a little extra money. And I figured, you know, I'm risking my life, fighting for my country here and there, so I was going to spoil myself. So I got this in a good condition from Midtown Comics. And... Uh, I had it sent in, but uh, I had it sent in through Desert Wind because, uh, like I said, they primarily deal with Stan Lee, so I was able to send it in to them, and they got a signature for me at one of the next cons they went to, and uh, he signed it. So it's like one of my very first Stan Lee books I got signed, so, you know, I like that one. Uh, next is uh, Wolverine, number two. Everybody, you know, is a Wolverine that knows Wolverine, big fan of his. This one as well is signed by Stan Lee. Now, I have the whole set, uh, one through four, volume one. The first two I sent in through Desert Wind, because um, they was going to the cons where he was at, and uh, they got it taken care of for me. And then issue three and four, I sent it to my, my man, Marty, because uh, he pretty much lives at the Comic Cons, and he got uh, three and four signed by, for me also by Stan Lee. And I appreciate that for him because uh, he didn't have to do it, but he did it. Uh, standing in line almost like two hours to get the signature for me. Uh, next we have number four as well. As you see, that's a 3.5. Another one signed by Stan Lee. So as you see, my Stan Lee uh, signatures is uh, racking up. Let's see, next one is another Stan Lee, like I said, uh, Wolverine, number one, I want to say, yeah, number one is 5.0, so that one's pretty good, and like I said, I'm, I'm not 
a real big, uh, you know, believer. Well, I'm not saying believer, but uh, I set my bar at a 3.0. Anything 3.0 or better, I'm, I'm pleased with because, you know, with all the moving I've done in the past 15 years with my books, you know, I know they're bound to get uh, messed up. Now, this is a, a Batman 200 that I got signed by uh, Neil Adams. Uh, Desert Wind took care of this one for me as well. Uh, came out as a 5.5, but like I said, the 200th issue of Batman Volume 1. Uh, I love me some Batman. I think I have over like uh, 301 issues of his Volume 1. So I'm still looking to maybe one day own that magical number one, which you know that's hard. To, that's going to be hard to come by. Uh, right here I have a All-Star Squadron number 43. Now back in the 80s, this was like my favorite, favorite um, DC group. I wish uh, they never uh, uh, got rid of this series because this I was in love with this series. Uh, this one, it's number issue number 43, signed by Mike Barron. Um, you can't see his signature because Mike Barron signs his books on the inside whenever he signs books. So. Uh, that's why you don't see his signature, but it was verified through uh, CGC at the Denver Comic Con when I went in 2013. Um, let's see, another Wolverine. This one, uh, I was very amazed. This one came back as a 9.2. Uh, 9.2, so if you see any of the camera moving up and down, I have my son. That's my cameraman. He's uh, doing this for me on a school night, so. But uh, 9.2 Wolverine, hey, I wasn't expecting that, but hey, like I said, and it set the bar too high. Thought about a 3.0 at that, but it came back at the nine, 9.2. All right, here's another 9.2 I have. This is a uh, Batman Superman uh, team up. It came out in 2003, the series. Uh, the signature is by Dexter Vines. Dexter Vines is a real cool dude. Um, he found out I was in the military. Uh, this was at the Denver Comic Con, and uh, he said he appreciate my service. And you know, I even have a picture that I took with Dexter Vines. And uh, as you can see right here, that's me and uh, Dexter at the Denver Comic Con in 2013. Like I said, real down to earth dude, real cool dude. And then last but not least, I purchased this on the, uh, the internet, won it on auction on a bid, 9.6 Thor, uh, signed by Walt Simonson. Everybody knows I absolutely love me some Thor comics, so I had to jump on this one. Even though I, I own it in a regular bag and board, I seen this and I couldn't pass it up, you know, with Walt's uh, signature on it. So I was pleased with that. All right, now we're going to get into the universal, well, not universal, but a CGC qualified grade, which um, it's a green sticker. They give you for all type of like different defects or whatever. Um, this one right here that I have, which is Thor God of Thunder, it qualified, uh, reason being because it wasn't CGC verified and it has uh, Jason Aaron's signature. And I got this book from a buddy uh, when I was stationed at Fort Riley, Kansas. He came to my office one day and handed me the book, you know, with Jason Aaron's uh, signature. And I just sent it in and got it graded, knowing that uh, it wasn't CGC verified, but I didn't care, you know, because it was Jason Aaron's uh, signature. And I appreciated that from, from him. Okay, the last stack I have right here is the Universal. So we'll just go as is. This is just sending in, regularly getting done. And like I said, here's a... Uh, the Daredevil I was talking about came back into the 4.0, pretty good uh, condition being uh, that old. Uh, the book came out in uh, 1966, so I'm very pleased with that. Let's see, next I have, uh, like I said, another well, All-Star Squadron. Uh, like I said, it was my favorite title back in the 80s. and. Uh, I just got it graded because uh, my plan was to get them all graded, all 70 issues, 67 regular issues and then three annuals. So that's still my plan to get it done because, uh, like I said, one of, my, one of my favorites back in the 80s. So let's see what I have here. I have, uh, and then here's All-Star Squadron number one. I'm, I was very surprised, you know, uh, I guess I kept this in pretty good shape. 
This came back at an 8.5, and this is issue number one. Uh, All Star Squadron, like I said, um, I just like the storyline of the the night. It, it carried through the 1940s of the Mystery Men uh, during that era, doing the doing the war, you know, and uh, just having all them different types of superheroes that some people might think they look funny, or whatever, with those costumes. But I grew up liking them. Right here we have What If. Everybody knows about What If. You know, what if this happened, what if that happened? Well, I had what if Thor versus uh, Battle Conan. Uh, got this on auction uh, through eBay, 9.6. Uh, couldn't pass this baby up. And then, um, I'm very pleased uh, to be the owner of this. And then my last one, I have Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars. I bought this at the Kansas City Comic Con in March. Uh, the vendor wanted 150 and like I said, being in the military pays off because once he found out I was in the army, he uh, dropped it down to 130 I mean, only $20, but hey, $20, I was able to get me a couple more books, so I'm um, very pleased with it, 9.6. Um, couldn't ask for any better grade than this, you know, because these books are hard to come by. I think I only know like one or other two people that might have like two of these, uh, that own like two, two of the issues for real though, but... Uh, but I own one, so I'm happy with that. So, hope uh, you liked uh, my collection. Um, like I said, uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming by. If you're new, subscribe, click like, uh, come by any other time to check out our, uh, our webpage, our channel. And uh, until next time, uh, see you later.